You've got an Express LRS radio or transmitter, and no matter what you do, you cannot get it to bind to your whoop or micro drone. Well, the good news is it is not you that is the problem. It's actually something else. Don't worry, we will get you bound and flying in no time. I'll also share with you three long-term solutions to this very problem. The first thing we need to understand is what kind of receiver is on your drone. There are two different connection types for the receiver to connect to the flight controller, SPI or UART. For whoops that have an all-in-one flight controller with Express LRS built in, is your receiver and flight controller are connected by SPI. And what this means is that the receiver can only use the version of Express LRS that's built into Betaflight, and that's currently version 2. On newer all-in-one flight controllers that are coming out with built-in Express LRS receivers, they're going to be connected through a UART, so newer drones won't have this same problem. But how do you check which version you have? Well, if you plug your drone into Betaflight and go, go to the receiver tab, you'll then see either SPI or UART. If it says SPI, keep watching because I'm going to show you how to bind to your radio. But if it says you are and you cannot bind, you probably have a completely different problem. Before you think this is just an easy fix by changing SPI to UART, this isn't actually going to solve the problem because it's a physical connection and this drop down is only telling Betaflight which connection is being used. There are two immediate ways to fix this. The first is not on your drone, but on your radio or transmitter. You need to be running Express LRS 2.5.1. So if you're on the latest version of Express LRS, you're going to need to downgrade your radio to version 2.5.1. The other option is you can upgrade your drone's firmware to Betaflight 4.4, which will have support for Express LRS version 3 over SPI. And it's also going to make binding your drone easier. Betaflight 4.4 hasn't officially been released yet, so you may want to hold off for now. If you're going with downgrading your radio or transmitter firmware, once you've done that, we'll need to go and put your binding phrase into Betaflight. But Betaflight needs your binding phrase in UID bytes. So you need to head over to the SPI page on the Express LRS website. There's a link in the description to convert your binding phrase to UID bytes. Head to the CLI tab and paste that into the CLI. Then type save. If you went with upgrading your drone's firmware to Betaflight 4.4, all you need to do is head over to the receiver page and enter your binding phrase, then press save. Now you should be bound, but if it's still not binding, there is one more possibility that could be causing a problem. The SPI receivers only support 500 Hertz, 250 Hertz, 150 Hertz, and 50 Hertz modes of Express LRS. So if your radio or transmitter is set to F250 Hertz, 1000 Hertz, D500, or any of the full packet rate modes, it's still not going to work. So you need to set your transmitter to one of the basic packet rates before it's going to bind. While these solutions may have worked and will solve the problem in the short to medium term, it doesn't solve the problem in the long term. Because what if you have multiple drones that have separate Express LRS receivers running the latest version of Express LRS? The first long term solution is you can just leave all of your receivers and transmitters running Express LRS 2.5.1. But if you went the Betaflight 4.4 route, all you need to do is leave all of your gear on Express LRS version 3. Now, I wouldn't recommend that at all because there are still two more long-term solutions that are potentially better for you. First, you can buy a separate transmitter module and set that up on either 2.5.1 or version 3 for this drone and any other drones that have SBI receivers. But I don't think that's still the best way to go about it. Before I give you the best long-term solution, if this video has helped you or given you value, would you do me a favor and subscribe as a way to say thank you? It would help me out immensely. So the best long-term solution is if the flight controller has a spare UART, is to wire up an external Express LRS receiver like a Happy Model EP2 or Radio Master RP2. This will give you the full capabilities of Express LRS, such as all the different packet rates and any new features that get added in the long term, which is why it would be my preferred solution. Now, if you don't know how to wire up an Express LRS receiver, then watch this video here to find out. I'm Darren Allett. Until next time, don't forget to send it.